shocking. That's how resident described the brazing murder of the 58-year-old councillor. Holston was shot dead here, just 200 meters from his home. Eyewitnesses say an unknown man approached him while he was addressing residents and opened fire. Two other people were injured. So literally he was doing what he lived to do and what he loved to do, helping the community. When this fatal incident took place uh, in a very savage manner uh, and I think the family is finding it hard to cope uh, but I think they also find refuge in the fact that uh, he was killed doing what he loved best. Councillors say they fear for their lives. This is the first incident actually for a, a councillor uh, to be assassinated but uh, there was uh, an incident where a candidate was also uh, killed in World one so most of the councillors now they are so scared as a result uh, they don't want even to to cooperate in terms of issue of uh, holding meetings in their areas now ANC candidate councillor Bongani Skosana was gunned down in the area just before the local government elections 12 political killings were recorded in Wazul Natal in the run-up to the polls. They included four councillor candidates and mainly ANC leaders. The provincial government has since appointed a commission of inquiry into the murders. It's expected to complete its work in a year. Police say Houston's killer is still at large. Londi Khatebe, SAPC News, Harding.